Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold for yourself if file history does not recognize this drive, error message that you're experiencing on your Windows computer. So Windows file history has been a feature in Windows, I believe, going back to Windows 7 that allowed you to back up files to an external drive. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve here coming across this little message here saying that the file history does not recognize this drive. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in file history. Best match should come back with file history. Go ahead and open that up. If file history says it's off, you may need to go ahead and turn it on. But you can see it says no usable drive was found. You might have to go ahead and select a network location here and then add a network location or somewhere else in order to actually back up the files first. And then once you've done that, you should be able to come in here and actually turn on file history. And then once you've done that, the available drives should appear down here. And that's basically it. You may also want to make sure your USB drive is properly connected to your computer if you're using an external media source like that, and then plug it back in. So unplug it, plug it back in, see if that helps resolve the problem. And if you have different devices under here, like let's say file history is on, if you expand the drop down, you may be able to remove the drive and then re-add it. There'll be a little hyperlink that'll say remove. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and actually go back and add the drive to this list. And that's pretty much it. So once we've addressed that, you may also want to go into services. And you want to locate the file history service and double click on it. You want to set startup type in here to automatic and start the service and then select apply and OK. And there you go, guys. That should hopefully be about it. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.